Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. It's a beautiful morning. Allergies are in the air. At least I'm feeling it today. I had a good friend that asked about prayer, and specifically about their dog. They said that their dog is terminal at this point, dying, and they were wondering, is it something you should pray for? And he says, you know, my wife asked me this question, and she used to pray a lot until her mother died, and then she quit praying. And she's wondering if this is worth praying for. You know, there's so many ways to answer this, and so many things that we could comment on, but let's talk about the foundation of prayer for a minute. You know, folks, prayer is simply talking to God. Simply talking to God. People say, well, how should I pray? What kinds of words should I say? What kinds of things can I pray about? You know what the answer is? Pray for everything that's on your heart. It doesn't matter what it is. Because, you know, prayer honestly is your communication with God. He really wants to hear what's on your heart. And that's important. And it's important that you pray your heart. Because that's the kind of communication he wants. Now, sometimes we expect the wrong things going into prayer. If I expect, if I expect that, um, that my time spent praying is going to produce exactly what I think I need, then I'm in it for the wrong reason. Now, can I pray and, and someone's health is restored? Absolutely. Will their health always be restored? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, it doesn't always happen. And sometimes people say, well, why pray then if it's not going to happen? Folks, the, the purpose of prayer isn't so that you can get things that you want. Although, that is part of it. Telling God what you want, telling Him what you need. But the purpose of prayer is just talking to God. You know, God becomes our Father. He becomes our friend. He becomes, uh, you know, the, the, um, the one place that you can go to express yourself with someone that you know absolutely understands you. That's a big deal. And that's what prayer is. And it's really about talking. It's more about listening. It's more about communication. It's more about receiving what he has to say. Should you pray for your dog? Yes. Will everybody be healed that you pray for? No. Will you get everything that you pray for? No. Why not? Well, that's where the listening part comes in. And sometimes that doesn't even work very well. But I can tell you that my times in prayer have been rich. Have I always gotten what I've asked for? No. Because I don't believe that that, uh, that God is a genie. But I can tell you that they've been rich because of the kinds of communication that we've been able to establish over the years. And I hope you establish that same thing. So much more that can be said. We'll talk about more. Uh, we'll talk more, excuse me, about prayer in the future. God bless you. Have a great day.